first off, welcome. You know, hey, great it, to be the here. Ceremonial bump now. It's it's a lot different than it used to be. Uh, but I'm Jack because probably more than anything else, you're Jack. You know, with the way the nation is these days and everything that's happening, we appreciate great news and Chris, all that you and your team do to promote the positive. And believe it or not, I think the majority of people want to hear about the positive. I'm a very competitive person and, you know, COVID is not an option. I mean, as I've told, especially, and you know, our good friend, Bert Cook on the economic development team, uh, our planner, Tom Casey, uh, COVID is no excuse. And we're pushing every day and things are happening because of that. And I will tell you this, the community is buying in. They see the potential here in Laporte and we have put together a fantastic team that uh, are pushing the limits uh, and really see what Laporte can be. And one of the things, you know, Jeff Batchelor, uh, for example, the first thing we have to do is start cleaning up our community. And Jeff is our code enforcement. You know, you talk about bringing slicers home. Jeff, great uh, baseball player here at one time at Laporte, football player. He spent 20 years in the Department of Corrections and we were able to get him for code enforcement. And, uh, you know, we are starting to see the cleanup, the clean curbs, the little things are what makes the difference. And like right here, I'll have you go to the next light, but right here, we've cleaned all this up. The state has allowed us so that people, this is our Lily Lake. I mean, and people can now drive by and go, whoa, we have the Don George property that we're gonna be uh, developing here really soon. And uh, you just turn right here, but you see all this opportunity just north of, uh, just north of our downtown. But up here is the- uh, We have the medical center. The medical center that we just broke ground on. And then our Flaherty and Collins, 200 apartment, high-end apartment. That'll be really the first one here in Laporte that's beginning groundwork. This has all been cleaned up and uh, this is the beginning. And we have a great partner in the healthcare foundation of Laporte and Maria Fruit. And what's happening, and they'll stop us up here, but uh, we want this to be for everyone in our community. And so they were funding uh, a boardwalk. So you're gonna be able to come here, walk across the boardwalk and uh, enjoy our lake while they're fishing. And this boardwalk construction right here will take you from here, walk across, bike across, you know, we're a very unhealthy community right now, and we want to be in the top 10 by 2030. We're going to be cleaning up all these invasive uh, species over here, and uh, that all comes to the talent that we have uh, in our departments. We're going to be developing Clear Lake here, and this is going to be a boardwalk for bikers, walkers, um, just to come out, enjoy with your family, um, Clear Lake and uh fish you know we've got fishermen out here all the time and it's just so peaceful here right next to downtown you can come across and you know our goal is to have 30,000 people by 2030 and uh, right now we've been stuck for probably 40 years at 22 23,000 so we have to shake some things up and we have to be ready for that and provide a healthy environment a walkable community and this is gonna help develop and take advantage of what most communities wish they had, and that's our lakes. And then you have the Dune Center, so you know they're bringing people in from all over. Uh, it's just a perfect element. And uh, if you don't wanna go up with the boats and everybody on Pine Lake or Stone Lake, you come here for a little peace, walk the boardwalk, and uh, we have some more surprises coming down the road here. It just, everything is happening in Laporte, which is exciting. You know, sometimes people want change until change happens. And everybody <laughs> wants that until it affects them. But people have really, this community has bought in. They see the potential here and they want it cleaned up. They want to be proud again. They want to buy in. Again, we mentioned our good friends from, and I would drive slow here, the Healthcare Foundation. So we are redoing this road and we're going to turn this into one lane 
one way it's going to be split and the other half is going to be a bike walk lane here so we are so excited this will be done at the end of september and uh what a view huh i mean no while you're walking while you're enjoying it's it's amazing healthcare foundation of laporte is paying for the walk bike path along the other way so that i mean picture so many people that love to walk ride run along the lake were dodging two-lane traffic and that was makes it safer for situation. everybody So this is the old, very old Maple Lane Mall, which outside of Dunham's has had some struggles here. And uh, I am just proud to say that this has been acquired and uh, we have a farm ag store coming, Rural King. King. And uh, that was a great announcement. And just as we talked earlier, if you build it, they will come. Think about what's gonna happen to the spaces going uh, you know, west here. And we met with Rural King on site and we talked to him and said, you know, most of our stores average 6,000 people a day. And our goal is now that this is done, let's expand, let's cross over here. We need another West Side grocer. And we think a grocer would be really excited to know 6,000 people could potentially come here. So the West Side is booming. And when we were knocking on doors, for two years before the election, this was one thing we heard from. And think about when you come in from the west, coming into Laporte, you see a brand new parking lot with some design, with some structure, with some landscaping. I'm just excited. I never thought, I must be at the age where I get excited about parking lots, but uh, this is just another example. Thanks to the previous administration, Mark Krentz was very helpful, and Bert Cook, who's been trans transferring from one to for one administration to another has made this happen we owe a lot of success to we have access to care and that's important and i think that's important to families that are looking to come here that there is access to care and uh, available now we have two locations the port hospital obviously building this building and they've been a great partner. Ashley Dickinson, who is uh, the CEO, is you know has really supported everything in Laporte, and we couldn't ask for uh, better than that. So we have a family that's been in Laporte for years, the Heiler family, and also the Luck family. Uh, by marriage, oh my gosh, and this land, not only this land, but 50 some acres on the backside of these two homes have all been donated to the city this year. Wow. How do you say thank you enough for this type of gift? It's not like a small present that you're going to open up on Christmas day. This is something that happens in a lifetime and we're gonna do right, we can't mess this one up. We're, we've taken kind of an approach that, hey, we're gonna sit on this probably till early next year and then really sit down and say, what can we do with this? We know we're in need of housing. Uh, we know there's some opportunities, maybe some development here. We've heard from wedding planners, uh, ideas for this. Uh, we have um, the Luck home here and their mother, Fran Heiler, next door and can you imagine just spending a Notre Dame weekend back here or wedding? There's just unlimited opportunities. So uh, being a lack of creative person that I am, I'm staying out of it and we'll just take credit for any of the ideas as long as they're good ones. This is the new Healthcare Foundation, our partner uh, who's been fantastic for our community and the dollars. This is their new building here and amazing. And then across the way, you're starting to see office development and some condominiums. You couldn't show all the development that's going on in our community without recognizing the Healthcare Foundation of Laporte. Uh, they as a partner have been amazing and I don't know where we would be without them. And so 
they have developed this for the community. Their corporate offices will go here, go here, and then there'll be space for the nonprofits if they need it. Groups to meet here. There's so much here, and Maria Fruit, as you've said, and you know, anything that Maria Fruit is involved in is top notch. And uh, we just have to show our love and appreciation to this organization because they, the board members, and Maria make a difference in what we're doing. And you saw with some of the roads that we're doing that are turning into bike lanes, walking areas, uh, a boardwalk, they're amazing. So uh, we're fully supportive and excited to have them here, but this building is uh, a standard we're trying to set. That's the most important thing, you know, uh, focusing on what, sep what makes you separate or different. You can turn left at the next light. And uh, that's why we love what we're focused on, which is our natural resources, because it's not the me too, you know? And some homegrown restaurants, not all chains, uh, something special that people aren't going to New Buffalo, Valpo, Chesterton for, uh, and so forth. So that's why we're excited. But the growth in Northwest Indiana is coming right to LaPorte. We're ready to compete, and people wish they had their natural resources like we do. Other communities wish they did. Great things happen with the great team, and behind this door and many doors around this community, and including the buy-in from our downtown businesses, our manufacturers, we've got one goal, and that's to get better, and uh, we're gonna see, you're going to see it soon. Yeah.